Hey guys, this is uh, Phyllis from Hassline Software. I'm going to uh, show you how to set up a bot to trade on Bitfinex with a uh, margin. So basically the first thing you need to do is go to the Exchange tab. And we need to make sure that we have inputted uh, the API keys for each of the um, Bitfinex exchanges. So we need uh, Bitfinex Double Margin, Bitfinex Exchange, and Bitfinex Margin. So once you have added the API keys and connected to it, you are basically ready. So, um, we need to create a trade bot, and uh, for Bitfinex margin, we have two options. So, basically, if you want to um, trade like, um, like only create longs or only to uh, create shorts, then Bitfinex margin is what you want. But if you want to uh, have a trade bot where, like, on a buy signal, you go long or close a short, and on the next subsequent um, sell signal, you want to um, close that long and open a short you will want Bitfinex double margin. So for this, we'll go ahead and set up a Bitfinex double margin uh, trade bot. Let's call it Bitfinex uh, double margin. And go ahead and click Save. So now we need to set this up. So since uh, Bitfinex um, you know, trading on margin uh, with a little bit of leverage um, allows you to you know, trade more than what you have, um, we need to kind of um, set this up correctly. So basically the first thing you want to do, you definitely want to use a fixed amount. Um, and right now, this is a test account, so it's not that much, but we'll just trade um, 0 0.1. So basically 0 0.1 is the amount with 3.3x uh, 3 .3 uh, leverage. So we'll do that, and then our next option is to um, uh, tell the bot basically what we're going to do first. So what's the first thing we're going to do? We're either going to open a long, open up a short, close an existing short, and then open a long, or close an existing long and open a short. Currently, this account does not have a um, does not have a position, so it's really up to me. Um, I guess the first uh, thing we can do is just open up a long. Um, that's fine with me. Um, but I mean, it really depends on what you kind of anticipate in the market. Um, right now, I don't really know. Um, so we'll just say open a long. So that's all set up correctly. Um, there's your account balance. It's a little bit weird because you know it's um, like the way Bitfinex handles it. You're dealing with you know your tradable balance, but I mean just as long as you get roughly within the amount you want, it'll be fine. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and click save, and now we are ready to set up our uh, indicator. So say if you wanted to run, I don't know. For this, I'll just do Stosh Tastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can set whatever you want. Just do that, say one minute, I don't want one minute. We can do like 15, do something like this. Obviously you can uh, test the indicator that you want. It's like, okay, that's probably all right. Not too shabby actually. Um, and yeah, actually, yeah, this is actually not too bad. So yeah, say I'm happy with this, which is actually probably a good uh, strategy to run right now. Um, We'll save that, and obviously you can set up any safeties or ins uh, insurances or anything like that, but for this purpose, I don't really need to. And so I will just go ahead and click on the play button and activate it. And the process is, is exactly the same thing uh, with a single margin. I can go ahead and just show you that. Um, whoops. Yeah. Let me go ahead and do that. So yeah, we'll do uh, Bitfinex margin. Now we'll just leave it as new trade bot. Um, but yeah, so basically when you're setting it up, it's the same thing. You just, um, you know, you choose what you want to do first. Like, um, do you want to open a short or close an existing long or open a long and close an existing short? So you basically just need to tell it what you want to do first. Um, and of course, set the amount correctly. Um, but it looks like our bot just did trade. And it did, it just uh, went long, which is cool. So on the next um, trade signal, whenever it uh, signals a sell, it's going to close that long and then open a short. And then on the, the buy signal after that, it'll close the short, open a long, and just repeat the process. So it's a great way if you have a good strategy to um, you know, make a little extra more profit because you're, you know, you're trading with um, you know, 3x leverage, so you know, you'll get that. But keep in mind, there are you know, the fees um, when you do use leverage can be a little high. So it's probably better just to kind of run that during like a scalping or something like that. So that's entirely up to you. Well, that's it. It's incredibly easy. Um, so 
good luck and uh, happy trading.